A week after the MetaQuest Pro was released, I reviewed it and said that I want this new user interface design that they've done with the Quest Pro in my MetaQuest 2. And I hope that they won't make these uh, different user interfaces for different devices. So finally, I got the V49 update and I see that the new user interface is here. But for some reason, some people got it in V47 already, so I've seen people with the new design in V47. So I just got it with V49. And for some reason, I guess maybe a bug, a glitch, or maybe A-B testing, I've got this new weird dock design. So as you can see, the user menu profile got switched to this area for left notification bar is in next to the profile icon and the bunch the the, the three icons of the wi-fi battery and clock are together in this section so they are still invoking this uh quick settings menu with a new refreshing design of sliders as you can see and the toggle buttons are actually quite the same but the new design of this gradient uh, green blue to gray blue with the new apple uh, apple inspired minimize and close buttons are still here so i don't know why they decided to do this unbalanced design obviously there is no separator here just like mm, i guess the separator from here should be also in here but I I guess it's a glitch because I can't go ahead and uh, pin some applications to the universal menu to the dock. So notice when I try to pin my browser to the universal menu, it says it done so, but it's not here. So I'm it was here and I said unpin it from my dock, and I can't bring it back. So that's that's obviously a bug, or maybe a B testing but it's not the first time that meta is disappointing me and i hope that they are not doing this to other ux folks because uh if you want to make a first good impression uh you should always make sure that your target audience uh and obviously they know that i'm a ux designer because i've got also a facebook page uh on ux for xr and also i'm pretty loud about this kind of uh, things on linkedin and i also have my youtube channel so basically they should try to make ux folks and people who care about customer experience user experience um, be pretty satisfied by these uh, changes and i was quite uh, enthusiastic about getting this new design but why it's so glitchy why and i'm not a big fan of their a b testing because even my facebook i've got two facebook profiles uh and one of them is professional and one of them is uh you know casual and i've seen that the user interface of my casual uh profile is the feed is entirely different from the the one i get in the professional one that's the, the that's the latest uh, ui design of uh, facebook so I don't know why they are doing so because everybody is getting different uh, user interface by meta when it comes to especially to facebook and now they are bringing this kind of confusion to the xr os to the operating system of the of their vr and the ar devices i'm not a fan of that because eventually if you are designing an operating system os for vr ar or even for computers try to make everything consistent because you can't have this kind of mess when it comes to operating systems even windows is hasn't changed much except the windows 8 uh, because people are very comfortable with what they have so try to focus on one design that everybody is uh, familiar with and don't change don't don't move my cheese don't move the the, the carpet beneath my legs
other than that uh, obviously I try to fix this uh, bug I try to restart my device I obviously have a third-party applications that I can go ahead and uh, uh, clear cache for system applications but it didn't help so I'm I don't, I'm not sure if it's a A-B testing of UI design on me or maybe a glitch because the subtext of my things is that I'm not very satisfied with this with this uh, mess here on the left and also that I can't pin applications to my universal menu. That's why I don't like uh, Meta and other companies uh, doing some sort of different user interfaces and A-B testings for different users. Make things consistent. Please make things consistent. It's not a um, website. It's a freaking operating system. Just like Microsoft is doing it with Windows and Apple is doing it with uh, Mac OS uh, and iOS and obviously iPad OS. Everything is consistent for all users. So if they want to find a feature, some feature to in, in, in settings, and they are making some YouTube video about these kind of things. And for example, I've seen some guy showing us how to enable this feature in under experimental features. And I obviously don't have these features. So why confusing users with different user interfaces and different sub menus? I don't know. Meta, please remember. Your operating system is not a Facebook account. Make things consistent just like every other operating system. So, let's see what happens. Bye.